All right, let's, uh, let's keep this thing highballing along and getting the pedal to the metal and all that stuff. Uh, at least until the AI takes over with autonomous trucks and autonomous Teamsters and, you know, the whole thing uh, then gets a virus and the robots rebel Terminator story and they, they actually control the the means of production and delivery. Wait, I've seen these movies before. Oh, I better just, uh, I better slow my roll. Nah, I'm just playing a little bit. A little bit's kind of serious too. Uh, you never know, you know, who knows? Right now, humans and the ones who are, you know, Carrying on a legacy of something greater than uh, stealing jobs and uh, using GPS. You know what I mean. Well, I pulled out of Pittsburgh, rolling down that eastern seaboard. I got my diesel wound up, and she's a running like I never before. There's a speed zone ahead, well, all right. I don't see a cop in sight. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it home tonight. I got me ten forward gears on a Georgia overdrive. I'm taking little white pills in my eyes, I open wide. I just passed a Jimmy in a wine. Um, now, not that the channel endorses any of uh, these uh, retro throwback ideas, but I believe uh, last time around we were given one up to the uh, amphetamine-driven, uh, high-balling, non-stop going, three days out, three days back, turnaround type thing. Is that what we're talking about here? You just drive three days straight to another, yeah, right? Like running that beer on white crosses? Man, those were still popular when I was in high school. I'm just saying, that's the only reason I know is, uh, never mind. I'm taking little white pills in my eyes, I hope in wine. I just passed a Jimmy in a wine. I've been a past on everything in sight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Seems like a month since I kissed my baby goodbye. I could have a lot of women, but I'm not. Yeah, a it's weird. I like I like that, but then I was like, it looks too much like Optimus F and Prime. Oh, cause it is. Yeah, no, I don't don't care for that actually. You know what I, I do like? I really liked Convoy. Um, yeah, I I mean, uh, Peck and Paw was not you know at the height of his career anymore. I, you know, but yeah, that to, to rubber ducky, his truck, that whole, Ooh, did I like, did I like that movie? My aunt, a different aunt, not with, you know, same family as the truck driving. Uh, my mom's side had uh, five kids. But it seems like a month since I kissed my baby goodbye. She shouldn't have taken me to it. I was way too young to see that sex in the sleeper scene. Like, I was way too young to see, um, you know, I didn't know you could open that up like a package. Didn't, 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 didn't know. Did, didn't know. Didn't know. But I will say, I watched that movie again and it seemed very sweaty. And um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Seems like it might be hot. Hot and cramped back in there. But it seems like a month since I kissed my baby goodbye. I could have a lot of women, but I'm not a lack of some of the guys. Aww. I can find one to hold me tight, but I can never make believe it's all right. Days on the road no, speak, okay, I'm not trying to ruin this, especially if, you know, let's say you're driving right now and you can't actually watch the video and you're like, yo, I was enjoying that. Put that back on. I know, I know, I'm sorry.
But, uh, you know, I do... I, that idea, some of those couples... I don't think Ange, Ange is... Uh, yeah, out of the two of us, one of us gets road rage. And she ain't here right now. Uh, so I, I don't know how it would all work. Uh, but I, I always thought that that would be... You know, if you had the right person and you could, could, I don't know how it, the, uh, the, uh, I don't, the legalities of that is, can you, you know, they probably, probably double check, man, there's probably a way to screw those people over too. Cause you know, it doesn't matter if you have a driving partner, white crosses or something, as long as the, the front office demands you do this, that, and the other, huh? No, I hope I'm wrong. I mean, I hope there's. You know, here's the thing. Why didn't they just give us 80, 120 miles to the gas? Oh, yeah, because they go broke. But I mean, the just the, that's. I don't think we're going into the height of civilization. I think we're exiting from it. Honestly, I think it was all a bunch of bullshit before uh, 9-11. But, but I, you know, the day before, you know. I think it's just been a steady slide to this moment since that. No, and I think they built up to it. Wow, I did not know this was going to happen. Shit. Hello, the guy. I can find one to hold me tight, but I can never make believe it's all right. Six days on the road and I'm going to make it home tonight. ICC is the chicken on down the line. Well, I'm a little overweight and my logbooks are way behind. But nothing bothers me tonight. I can dodge all the scales, all right. Six days on the road and I'm a gonna. Now, now they just like can't they just like radar your shit and nail you? Like I, I just driving back from Florida. Uh watching it conversation was difficult with my dad talking about what truck drivers were doing and pulling off and dealing with them up and down hills made for a you know cornerstone of uh, viable conversation neutral ground yeah you can only talk about the weather so much and to be honest i had good weather never had to drive in bad weather uh, it you know where your focus goes, I guess. Um, but yeah, I was always wondering about that. Now I, I might get a couple answers. Do you have to like, is that a pre pre weighed truck? And then the data's registered. So when they go through, they just nail the, you know, scan, whatever. And they know it was, but then, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Are they, are they able to weigh on the fly now? Um, I, I don't know. I was I was just making sure I didn't get crushed, and then at 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 certain points wondering why you'd been going for five hours where it says no trucks in the left lane and there's just three wide. Three wide. You can't get around. Can't do nothing. But you got up a slight incline, so they don't do nothing either. Like they, one guy is just like, "Hey, I'm gonna make the pass on the uphill here." No, it's rush hour. Who cares? They don't. They're cool. I'm working too. Let me just slide on over into the left lane and put the hammer down on this hill and go nowhere. Now, I do like reading the heavy trucks, knowing, you know, like you get into a hill and you're like, oh, no, that one's screwed. They're, they're, they're done. They're just, I'm leaving them behind. I'm never seeing them again. And as I'm hitting the bottom of the other side of the, of the hill, they're still in the middle of the hill. Just This is just from an observation point, but I honestly, I've, I've seen them things in action. And then two drives ago, I, unfortunately, so I know I'm having fun, but just in case, uh, 
a certain individual's watching this, not just listening to it. I also saw the, the horror and ramifications of having to use a runoff lane and uh, coming down the mountains. Mountains. But uh, what is that? Dan? I don't know what the road is. They got runoff lanes everywhere, and you could tell dude missed, right? So uh, up in the... All jokes aside, uh, losing your shit coming down a hill fully loaded has got to be a nightmare scenario. So I, my heart goes out to anybody with the balls to be doing that stuff on the regular. Anybody who has to drive through Atlanta on the regular, my heart goes out to you. Whether you're speeding down the mountainside at near death or sitting there going one mile an hour, the extremities you go through to get something done and deliver shit for people who don't appreciate you at all, that's the best I can give you. I can dodge all the scales, all right. Six days on the road and I'm going to make it home tonight. Well, my rig's a little old, but that don't mean she's slow. Damn right. There's a flame from a stack and that smoke's a blowing black as coal. My hometown's a coming in sight. If you think I'm happy, you're right. Six days on the road and I'm going to make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Wow, uh, that is a whole lot more reaction than I expected from uh, the Dave Dudley Six Days on the Road song. But there we are. Been there, done that, moving on to the next one.